tell you. So, uh, Spell in the Forest by Rizal Angwin. Um, so this is apparently book one, Tongues and Trees. So, you get part one, like you get a um, bit of information, part one, the forest, part two, tongues and trees, the tree months. So, um, if you're familiar with the Celtic tree, um, months, Celtic tree year, um, it goes over, like, this is what that is. Um, part three is practical. And then you get, like, the end notes and references and everything. And, like, you do get um, everything that's in that section provided for you in the contacts, contents. Um, gifts of tree, the healing power of trees, um, goes through, through that and goes how um, the book works. So the first more personal part, um, like what we know of trees, second, um, going sacred trees native to and embedded in the consciousness of the Celtic lands of Great Britain, covering a solar year through the trees representing loosely lunar um, months. So some people may do the lunar cycle where others would do like these, um, the Celtic trees as um, replacement. Um, okay. The part three, the final short section, includes the brief um, briefs for inspiration and practice coupled with the symbolic representations of the individual tree species mythic qualities that she offers in the course program for use as a creative process to bring about the deep immersion in the tree tribe. Um, so. You do get like personal um, stories and um, like these like italic sections are kind of like like I'm I'm kind of seeing them as like like different like story type of stuff. Um, like um, a meditation, meditation kind of like experience. So, and then when you get into the trees, you get. Um, the name and then like information like this you get like um, so birch tree so Batula pendula so like the scientific name the Latin name um, the time period so December 24th to January 20th uh, the poets tree inception initiation and rebirth I am a stake of seven trees in the midwinter mid -winter birch wood and then you get information um, history, habits, the gifts of the tree, its mythology, um, symbolism, and then like for oak, you, so like it's a, kind of like the same setup for each tree. So like the oak tree, um, curious Robar, June 10th to July 7th, king of the woods, steadiness, enduring, enduringness, solidarity, and protection. I'm the oak king who sets the head of flame. I am the god who crowns the waxing year. And so you get like information and so on. Um, other associations. Um, so the, those are like the basic setups for it. Um,
So to me, it's a great addition for those who are working with the Celtic um, tree system. And it's a great addition. You're getting possible information that you don't already know, but it can also be also a beginner book as well because you are getting a lot of information thrown at you, whether it's in part one or part two. Part three, you kind of get a little bit of extra information. Um, but it's a good connection book to them. You don't get the visuals like other books would. Um, this is more, this is pretty much all text um, based. So um, if you're wanting the visuals, there are other Celtic tree um, books out there. Um, but this is just trying to make those connections to um, experience the trees and um, connecting to them. And, um, and like in near the back of the book, you get like different ways to um, like support trees or um, like things you could do, like plant a forest garden, um, look into permaculture, buy recycled paper products, um, and so on. So like you, you get a bit of an explanation um, of it, so you can do further research as well into like the different topics and stuff that she brings up. So yeah, I found it to be a really cool read. Um, so yeah, like I'll likely pick this up again because um, I do want to um, pick up books that are about the Celtic tree um, cycle. So yeah, A Spell in the Forest, happy readings.